This tutorial is about drawing surfaces. To create a surface without walls, we have a surface tool. Surfaces can have any shape you want and you can give them a color or material and a room type. You can create surface shapes for various purposes. For instance, for outdoor spaces like uh, gardens, patios or balconies. You can also use them to have areas within your room in a different color or material. For instance, splitting a large area into a living room and a kitchen. Another application for surfaces is sloping surfaces like roofs. In this plan I created a roof using a sloping surface. You can create custom ceilings when the auto-generated ceiling doesn't work, or you can use surfaces to create an elevated surface. Like in this case, I used a surface for a built-in cupboard. Another application for surfaces is creating a hole in a floor. In this case, I have a stairway that leads downwards, and I used a surface to make a cutout in the floor below. So you can see through the floor, like that. We'll first draw a kitchen surface inside the living room. Click the hammer icon and select draw surface. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's select a kitchen. Move your mouse to the work field and just click for the first point. Move your mouse again and you will see that a line appears with the length indication. And in each corner you will get these snapping guides. So you can place your corners neatly in the corner of a wall. If you're done, press escape. Now we have a kitchen area. If you click on the kitchen you'll see an area indication. You can show it or hide it. Here you see the building type and the room type of this surface. Then there's a material option. You can give it a raise. So if we want a kitchen area to be one step higher, put it on 20 centimeters. And let's check 3D. Indeed, your surface is a bit higher than the rest. So all you need is some kind of a border over here. If you click the surface, you will also see some icons. One to duplicate the surface. This is to mirror horizontally and vertically. And an icon to remove the surface. Let's duplicate this surface and use it for a patio. Drag it around and you'll notice that it will snap to the walls. Let's zoom in a bit. Click. I'll select patio. And now you can drag the sides or the corners. Now we'll draw our garden area. Zoom in a bit. Let's select garden and start in the corner. Click and drag and release. Use your spacebar to pan if you are drawing. Click and release in the corner. And click again. Oops. Alright, I messed up. So let me press escape. And now I can click the surface area and actually just drag the corners around. Let's see. Ah, I've got one too many, 
So you can click on a corner and remove it with the trash bin. Let's zoom out. So now let's make a nice curve here. Click on the white dots to make a curve. And in this case, the curve has to be aligned with the curve of the patio. Yeah, that's almost right. By the way, if your furniture is in the way, you can also hide them temporarily. Let's take a look at 3D. Yes, so we have a garden surface, a patio surface and a kitchen. We only have to give it the proper material. So let's go to materials in the furniture section. This icon is for outdoor materials. We want this one for the patio. And grass on the garden. I want to have the same planks in the kitchen as I have in the living room. So I go to In Use and then I can see my planks over here. Just click and drag and drop them in the kitchen. Click on the kitchen, click on Material Settings and now you can rotate the planks 90 degrees. You can even change the horizontal or vertical scale or the offset for instance. Let's check 3D again. And there you go. We have a garden, a patio in the front, and a kitchen.